Welcome back to the Hawaiian Pro. The first stop on the Vans Triple Crown of surfing out in the water. Mark Lacamar, Leonardo Fioravanti, Kelly Slater, and Connor O'Leary. France, Italy, the US of A, and Australia all represented in this first heat as we move through. Here we go, surfer in red, Mark Lacamere, off the bottom, straight up into the bowl for a power hack. Looking for the second turn, lip line float, and comes down on top of it. He likes it, he's got more waiting. Oh. A little theatrics might have cost him a third turn. It could have, you know, he was sitting there, I think that it looked like it was shut down. Up and riding, Kelly Slater comes around the corner looking for the lip line off the bottom. Big layback hack in the bowl, gets covered up, comes around that, bingo, back up into the lip, looking very sharp, very spry, very smooth, the all-time greatest ever to compete. I mean, it's just pretty classic to see that, uh, you know, Bruce Walker's over there helping him out as you watch a big turn there. First turn, big float, two-turn combo, and then again, you're talking about that, but it's like, oh, whoa, there's an open face. And uh, again, he would have had to be really quick to get around it. A little smaller wave for Kelly Slater, but see how smooth it is on the face. He's got the breeze blowing, the water's over the top of the reef now. Layback snap underneath the hook, water over the top of it, so nice dynamic turn. That's gonna be a good score, even though it is a little bit smaller wave, the surfing was spot on. You know, especially when he got to that final section where he gets a, that little tail lift, but so powerful. We saw that turn score earlier today. And then again, see that board above the lip. Judges will be eating that up as we see the third angle right underneath it. So difficult to do, perfectly timed and placed, disappears and came out with speed, which is so hard when you put your board all the way the other direction to be able to come out and finish the move. So I wonder if that decision's been made yet. Up and riding on the backhand, O'Leary from Australia. Nice cut in the face. Looking for more on the inside, a little off balance, but bingo straight up into the lip right there for the second turn. That's some fiery surfing right there. Mark Lacomere now going to glide in, find something big. Lip line float comes down over the board, but can't find the open face again. You know, they're going to be catching ground on Leo Fervanti, especially if he's not able to get through this heat. And let's watch Connor O'Leary's last wave. Have yet to see the score. But this kid's been on point. His backhand won him a QS 10,000 in Polito. So we know he's capable of it. Counting through this heat, up and riding now. Surfer in blue. Leo waited a long time for this wave. Lip line float comes around the corner. Looks to the inside. Big layback gouge in the bowl. Puts up a little hack. And out the back, Kelly Slater goes vertical straight up into the lip. Found a beautiful open face cut back. Looking for more on the inside. Looks for the hit on the inside toilet bowl and gets the fin release. Still going and kicks out. So a beautiful wave for Kelly Slater to back up the 5.67. Kelly really loving Holly Eva. You know, this heat's now a third done dusted. Leo Piravanti on his first wave. You know, again, you said he was waiting a long time. He had to choose a wave that was going to give him that scoring opportunity, which it has. The nice uh, forward floater to big snap. Little different lines here from Kelly Slater. We haven't seen anybody go straight up vertical on that first turn in a while. So nice work there from Kelly. This wave lacked a little bit of speed, I guess, this is the only thing I could say that would be a, a change, but he definitely drew a lot of different types of lines. So it'd be interesting if the judges take note of those unique lines. Beautiful heat setting up. Big blitz on the backhand right there from Connor O'Leary as he sticks another one to come on the inside. So big points gonna be put up by Connor. Kelly Slater finds some face off the bottom. Big searing off the top. Float lip line looking for a third. He's going to jump off to get back out. While we were away, Mark Lacomere also found a streamer of a wave who sits in second. Things are going to change here, Pete. All kinds of stuff going on in the lineup. Well, let's take a look. Again, just been in rhythm this entire event. And uh, that's so helpful when you're trying to find quality waves. And he hasn't made a lot of mistakes. And again, just everything into each and every turn so strong so much training involved for him that uh, it is paying off here especially when you look at today as one of those days that is going to be a long one if you can keep that adrenaline up but also not feel fatigue it is going to help you especially going into next heat the semis and even into the final i mean you heard the oohs and ahs coming from the crowd and that's why he was straight up vertical carried so much speed in and out of that transition Kelly, on the other hand, too, another searing snap straight into the lip. 
but he knows that priority is crucial. See him jump off pencil dive. That's going to help him get out the back and hopefully gain position in the lineup and get himself some priority. The boys on the forehand needing some big scores. And here we go, dropping in on the backhand. O'Leary sitting in second. Big push snap to floater. Comes down, gets bucked off his board. Won't be able to complete his ride. And taking a look outside, Kelly Slater looking at it. Does not have priority. So with third priority, he's going to have to give way to Mark Lacomere, who's going to just tag it off the top twice, three times, just putting it away. Let me tell you, Mark Lacomere looking like he's on fire. Out behind him, Leonardo Fioravanti. A big sweep in the corner. Another gout back into the power pocket, looking just super strong as he does another the same turn with more power, more intensity, and finishes off on the inside. So strong surfing. I don't think it's going to be the 8.54 that he's looking for, but he's going to better his score line, give himself a better opportunity. If he paddles for that wave, uh, and you had to kind of commit, he sees right there that Mark's going, so you know what? He kind of has to stay out of his way, which he does. And, uh, you know, it could have been a major mistake had he been put back out there in fourth priority, but he's in number two, so really not a huge deal. But uh, if he had been able to get that wave, it would have helped him out a lot. So I think he's just uh, showing a little risk by going on that wave, just uh, giving himself an opportunity. Here's the wave of last of Leo. This one, unfortunately, you know, it had the opportunity with a nice open wall, but it didn't have a ton of critical sections. So a lot of cars and cutbacks, and those aren't as difficult as those big steep sections. Here we go, paddling. Connor O'Leary looks at this one. He likes it, comes off the bottom, tags the corner, pushes hard off the fins on the bottom, again into the lip, going vertical, looking for more of face. Bingo, again, hitting that button perfectly just as he exits that wave. So great surfing. Out behind him, Leonardo Fioravanti. He's going to find himself a beautiful wall. Tags it, goes over the handlebars. It's going to be a missed opportunity, sitting on a 6 Seven zero. Oh, his requirement was only a 5.85. We'll take a look at the replay here. A good size set wave. You know, saw Kelly kind of eyeing it up, but Connor says thank you very much. Nice big backhand carve to start it off and does it again where he goes up vertical and where he places that board up straight up like that in that vertical section. It is a very difficult move to do. Mistake here from Leo, you know, smaller inside wave and uh, he tags it gets off balance and falls down. But I think that that score for Conor O'Leary is going to make things a lot nicer for him going through this last minute and a half. This thing's winding down with 15 seconds on the clock. It looks like both Peter Mel's picks and my picks bowing out of the event. Slater, gone. Jordy Smith, gone. Unfortunate for Leo Fioravanti, gone. And Conor O'Leary and Mark Lacomere from France. Absolutely crushing it on the backhand. 